Hello and welcome to the Valley Today. I am your host, Janet Michael. We are back on the screen today with one of my absolute favorite people. And you know that when Tootie Rinker is on the show with me, that means something cool is happening in our neighborhoods. It's not Newtown Festival. That's still a few months away, but Tootie Rinker is here to tell us about an international affair of food and wine. You're getting fancy on me, Tootie. Oh, yes, yes. I'm trying to upgrade myself at the same time, honey. (laughs) (laughs) So this is an event that is put on by the Rotary Club of Winchester every year. What role do you play in having this thing come together? I am co-chair with my good friend, Linda Kaufman, of this event. We've been doing this for, I would say, about seven years now. We did have one planned for 2019 and had to cancel it, unfortunately, because of COVID. And then, of course, we're out because of the pandemic. But we're back now, and it's bigger and better than ever. And we're so excited about it this year. We've got a wonderful beneficiary, and we've added some new new little tweaks to the event to make it even more special. So Anne Lamana is here with us as well. She is a board member for Wheels for Wellness, right, Anne? That's correct. I'm a bare person of the board, and I'm also a volunteer driver for the organization. They are the beneficiary of the International Affair of Food and Wine this year. And Tootie, that event is just around the corner. It's coming up at the end of March. It is. It's March the 30th, the Thursday evening from 6 to 10. And we're having it at a beautiful place called the Fox Meadow Barn, which is right off Route 50 off Old Firehouse Road. It's a a lovely location. And we're hoping the weather will be kind of like it is this week a little on the warm side a little bright outside so we can maybe move a little outside as well as inside well we are recording this two weeks or no we're recording it a week in advance of when everyone is listening and Mm -hmm. i know that the weather forecast is supposed to be chilly for the next two weeks but you still have an extra week in there so maybe you'll get lucky We've got a whole committee that's the weather committee (laughs) and we've got them praying so I think we'll be in good shape. So tell me about the event. What is it? How does it work? It's a wonderful event. It's a wine tasting and everybody's into wine tasting and we're adding spirits this year. Dr. Stoner's going to be there with his spirits. And then we pair the wine from whatever country it is with a local restaurant. So you get to taste the delicacies from the chefs from our local restaurants who prepared something to go along with the wine in that country. We'll have France and Italy, and we have La Berge and Violinos, Cafe del Sol, Chinatown, and they will each be with a country. So you get your wine glass and you just taste test your way and eat your way from one end to the other. We also have, I said, spirits as well. We also have beer to go along with that too. You can eat a little, and if you're like me and are not a real imbiber you can eat your way across that place just as well as you can drink your way across it but it's wonderful because you get a little taste of everything and the different restaurants are there to tell you about their food and then the wine servers will tell you about the wines that you get so it's an education process because a lot of the wines that they serve are not something that you routinely see to buy. So it's a new opportunity to taste something different. It sounds like a really great perspective into something that is international when you're focusing on dishes from all these other countries and realizing that they are all right here in our backyard, that we have restaurants in our backyard that are able to prepare these dishes. Yeah, it's wonderful. I've had more people that have attended and have not been to a particular restaurant, taste tested there, and then come back and said, we made a beeline for that restaurant the week after because we enjoyed their food so much. And we've been very fortunate that the restaurants have really stepped up to to be part of this. So it's a fun night. We're going to have a wine pool. We've never done a wine pool before. You can buy a ticket, you pick a number, and you pull that bottle of wine, which is wrapped from the center display, and that's yours to take home. We guarantee you a $20 bottle of wine, but hidden in there is a $200 bottle of wine and maybe a little something else. So, you know, you're taking a chance, but you get a bottle of wine to go home with. That's pretty daggone good. Right. You've won even if you don't win. (laughs) That's it. You're winning no matter what. (laughs) <laughs> and then we also have a fabulous silent auction. And of course, all the proceeds go to our beneficiary. And tell me a little bit about Wheels for Wellness. Wheels for Wellness was founded in 2004. So we're excited because next year we'll be celebrating 20 years of offering service to the community. And 
Judy was in from the beginning in another role in the community. When she was with the Red Cross, she was on the committee that helped start the organization. So it's kind of a, a marriage getting back together with yeah. two <laughs> around this. <laughs> but it is an organization that provides transportation to medical appointments and to medical treatment for people in the community that do not have any other way to get there. Our service area is the city of Winchester, Frederick County, Clark County, Front Royal, Warren County, and the northern part of Shenandoah County. So it's a wide area that we ask our volunteers to go to, but people need to go to their medical appointments. And all of our people would not be able to get there if it wasn't for us. And all of our drivers are volunteers. They use their own cars. They use their own gas. And it's door-to-door -door service. This morning, I drove to Stephen City and I picked somebody up and I took her to dialysis. Then somebody else will go back later this afternoon, pick her up and take her home, door-to-door. -door. I cannot begin to imagine the number of relationships that you guys have probably created over the years because dialysis is a pretty regular thing. It's medically necessary for a lot of people, but it's on a regular routine. So you know oh. which day so-and-so's got to be where for how long. Oh yeah, it's three times a week. There's people who go Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and there's people who go Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. Now Saturday, we don't offer transportation. I spoke to this one lady that I took yesterday and she told me that her insurance will pay for 24 transports a year. So she tries to save those for the times that Wheels for Wellness can't take her because 24 isn't going to do it when you have to go three times a week. Sometimes people have a family member that's not working during the week that can take them on a Saturday when we can't take them. But the Monday, Wednesday, Friday people, we take all three of their days. And you do, you develop wonderful relationships. And it's fun to learn about their families. You tell them about what you're doing over the weekend. Like I would say, I went to my grandson's uh, birthday party. And then the person I drive tells me about their grandchildren. I have a gentleman who told me he turns 89 this week. So I hope I get to drive him so I can wish him happy birthday. It's really nice. During COVID, when we couldn't do it as much, or doctor's appointments were canceled along with, we couldn't take people to a doctor's appointments. I really missed it. I missed the people that I always took places. It was hard during COVID for us. It's nice to be back. It is. It's nice to be back. Yeah. And Tootie, this is really in line with what the Rotary Clubs across the world do, but in do. particular, what Winchester Rotary does yeah. is giving back to the community. In this particular case, mm -hmm. they're the beneficiary from the International Affair of Food and Wine, but you guys do that across the board with all kinds oh, of nonprofits yes. in our yeah. area. It, Rotary is an international organization, and in the Winchester Rotary Club celebrated 100 years of service to the community last year. Our motto is service above self, and we have partnered and, and give on average two nonprofits in the community an average of $100,000 a year. And a lot of times they're raising money for a specific project and we will be the ones to help them raise the money to push them over the edge or get them started, that kind of thing. And our volunteers have gone out, our members have gone out and served meals at the rescue mission. We're one of their biggest supporters. We work with Habitat for Humanity and donate our time. But this is something we can do because everybody wants to have fun. Everybody wants to come together and do something different. And that's what international affair is. But at the same time, it allows people to do something positive for the community and make a difference in a way that maybe they didn't know they could. I know from my years in nonprofits, Winchester, Frederick County per capita has more volunteer organizations than any other community our size. And groups like Wheels for Wellness, I keep reminding to call them the old name, Faith in Action. Yeah, but, yeah. yeah, but they're providing a service that is just not available in the community, giving people access to medical care, which if you follow anything today, medical care is at a critical point in time. How many people wouldn't go to dialysis at all because they have no other way? So we feel very strongly as Rotarians that it's our job to make anything like this happen to the best of our ability. And I have to say, Annie's husband is a Rotarian, so she gets it from both sides. <laughs> <laughs> Full disclosure. Tootie, before we go to break, tell me one more time, when and where is the event and how do I get tickets? International Fair of Food and Wine is March 30th, Thursday from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Fox Meadow Barn. 
which is located on Old Firehouse Lane in Winchester. And you can get tickets from any Rotarian, of course. We also have an online site at eventbrite.com that you can order tickets that way. Or you can just email me directly, Tootie, T-O-O-T-I-E, 1222 at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to make sure that you get the tickets that you need. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, I want to talk to Anne a little bit more about some of the work that Wheels for Wellness does in the community. And I know, Annie, you guys have an event coming up the end of April you're going to give us details for as well. So we're going to do all of that when we come back in just a couple of minutes. Hi, I'm Haley Apodaca, a graduating senior at Mountain Vista Governor School. We are partnering with a local environmental nonprofit called Sustainability Matters to help you help yourself while helping the planet. One way you can contribute while you consume is to grow your own produce. Large-scale agriculture is responsible for more than a tenth of our country's carbon emissions. Growing your own fruits and veggies can reduce packaging, transportation costs, and your grocery bill. And you can be confident that you know what has and hasn't been sprayed on it. Thank you for listening. This has been an ecologically exciting message from Mountain Vista Governor School and Sustainability Matters. Together, we can keep the river clean and the valley green. Welcome back to the Valley today. I am your host, Janet Michael. We are talking about an international affair of food and wine today. Judy Rigger is here on the screen with me. She is the co-chair of the event that is hosted every year by the Rotary Club of Winchester. This year's beneficiary is Anne, Anne, is Anne Lamana. Anne's going to get all the money this year. This yeah. year's beneficiary is Wheels for Wellness. Anne Lamana is here with us. She is the chairman of their board. Judy, before we jump back over to Anne, to talk a little bit more about mm -hmm. the good that her organization does remind me again when and where is the event how do i get tickets international fair of food and wine which is wine pairings with wonderful food from area restaurants is march 30th thursday from 6 to 10 p.m we're going to be at the fox meadow barn which is a beautiful facility off Route 50 West. And to get tickets, any Rotarian, you can touch base with any of our Rotarians, but you can also email me directly at tootie, T-O-O-T-I-E, 1222 at gmail.com or go on eventbrite.com and we have a site there that you can order tickets online. So yeah, in Winchester, way. you can't throw a rock and not hit a Rotarian. Not that that's you should true. be throwing rocks at Rotarians, that's but true. they're everywhere. <laughs> yeah, that's very true. You know someone, and if you don't know a Rotarian, one of your friends will know one of us, I'm sure. And this is going to yeah. be a fun event, I think, this oh, year. Yeah. Aside from the food and the wine, you've added spirits. You mentioned that in the first segment. Yes. There's a silent auction. It really yeah. is a whole evening event. It is. It's a come and go. You come in and enjoy yourself, bring your friends and taste wines from around the world. And some of our restaurants, Cafe del Sol and Chinatown, La Berge and Violinos, just to name a few, will be there serving food, which are paired with wine from a specific country. They really work well with us. And then we're doing a wine pull where you buy a ticket, pick out a bottle of wine that's going to be nicely wrapped and it's yours to take home but you also have a chance to take home a 200 dollar bottle of wine that's stuck in there somewhere we're still adding different things to that. <laughs> yeah we're you're still a few like weeks a out -end. we're looking for an expensive champagne or something like that so we're still working on the tweak and the fun stuff we can do <laughs> And the beneficiary this year is Wheels for Wellness because, of course, Rotary always picks some sort of a beneficiary or right. earmarks funds for certain event right. events to go to certain projects in our community. That's what Rotary does, service above self, and it's important to us. And we really do work with the beneficiaries to become avid supporters. Annie and her board are working alongside with us to make sure that this event is a success. And our aim is to give them at least $10,000 to help them through a tough time. And we feel very strongly that they really represent an important part of our community that needs support. 
because they give a vital service that nobody else does. And we talked a little bit about that in the first segment, and I don't think it can be understated the value of what it is your organization provides to people, because I would imagine there are a lot of people that maybe just won't even make that doctor's appointment if they don't think they have a way to get there and get home safely. Oh, most definitely. I picked up a lady several times. And the first time I picked her up, she had oxygen. She had portable oxygen with her. She had lung problems along with some other issues. But she said to me that when the doctor started listing her appointments and the number of times she would have to come, she said, I can't do that. I don't have a way to get there. Her family worked. She said sometimes her family could take off, but they couldn't take off that often. And she actually said, you are angels from heaven. When she told me that I could get a free ride, she was overwhelmed. And she was just so grateful that we were there to fill that need for her. And we feel good about that too, that we can do that. We have a lady who was on dialysis. We would take her three times a week. Then she made the decision to do home dialysis and you only had to go once a week for that. Then she got a kidney transplant and she would have to go to different appointments for the kidney transplant. So we took her to those. Actually, I picked her up yesterday and I took her for lab work. And she gets her lab work done here and it's sent to UVA as a follow-up for her kidney transplant. And then we take her to her other doctor's appointments along with that. So we definitely fill a need in the community. We are the only ones that do free door-to-door transportation. And I can imagine too, it's not always just because someone doesn't have a vehicle. I could see where some of these appointments, maybe they shouldn't be driving themselves home. Maybe they could get themselves there, but then having done whatever's getting done doesn't make it safe for them to drive home. This is another really great option for them. Oh, yeah, that, that speaks to a gentleman that I used to take to dialysis. And he told, I just said, how did you hear about us? And he said, I used to drive to dialysis. And one time the nurse found me sleeping in my truck after dialysis. And she woke me up and she said, you can't do that. You can't be driving yourself home. And she gave him our contact information. And so we took him to his dialysis three times a week from that point on. But he was trying to do it himself. It just wasn't, like you said, it wasn't safe for him. So it's a very valuable service. Not everybody knows about our service. And Tootie mentioned briefly that we used to be called Faith in Action. And when we started, that's what we were called. And we were started by a grant. And there were other Faith in Actions around the country. But right before COVID hit, we made the decision to change our name because we got a lot of phone calls. People thought we did other things besides driving. They thought that we could help them with their rent Mm -hmm. or give them some extra food or we had a clothing pantry. Because our name was Faith, they thought we were church-based and had all these services to offer, which we don't. There are other community organizations that offer that, but we don't. And so we thought Wheels for Wellness kind of spoke to what we did. We changed our name in January of 2020. (laughs) So we didn't even have time to tell anybody. (laughs) Right, and then the pandemic hits and nobody's going anywhere. (laughs) Yeah, it was just bad timing back then. (laughs) So do you need volunteer drivers? Obviously, it's going to be really great that you're the beneficiary of this Rotary event, but I'm sure you guys do fundraisers, you need volunteers, you need donations, things along those lines. Oh, always. We could always use donations. At the beginning of COVID, even though a lot of doctor's appointments were canceled, not everything was canceled. And we were down to five volunteers who were willing to drive during that period of time. So we always need volunteers. I will say that over those couple of years, we have been creeping up in volunteers, but there's never enough to meet the needs of the community because there's always patients and there's always people applying for us to help them. And so far we've been able to meet that need, but it's not easy. We're very small. We have one part-time employer who is our director, And then we have a contractor who does our scheduling and both are part-time people. That is our biggest expense. Not that either one of those are overpaid, but that's our biggest expense. And then we also go to events to try to get our name out there. And we like to take things along. That's a small expense. Also, we try to several times a year provide gas cards for our volunteers because gas is so 
outrageous these days and you never know from day to day what you're going to pay for gas. So we tried two or three times a year to send them a gas car, but it's a drop in the bucket for what they spend. We have unfortunately lost some of our funding this year, so we can always use donations. We have our signature fundraiser, which is called Tablescakes, where we have about 25 community people who decorate a table with their dishes. And they will bring a place setting of four to the event and have a table with a nice linen tablecloth on it. And they will set the table with flatware, with glasses, centerpieces. They pick a theme, most of them. Like for an example, because we're in April, there'll be an Easter table. Some will bring little Easter bunnies to put on the table. They will bring jelly beans, maybe. We've had Christmas tables where people will bring things to put on the table. Last year, we had a gentleman who did a fishing table and he had fish hooks as napkin holders. <laughs> so it was just really very clever. So we have that event coming up on April 23rd. People pay $25 a ticket, $30 at the door. It's at Millwood Station over there by Costco. We also have a silent auction. We have somebody who comes in and can demonstrate how to fold napkins. We're hoping to find someone who might be able to show us how to have a tea party. And the Glasshoppers Club comes and they pick a theme. They've had pitchers in the past, like water pitchers, all different kinds. They've had teacups. So we have all kinds of different things to do for those three hours. And we would love for people to come. It sounds like a blast. Where can people go get more information and more details about Wheels for Wellness? They could go to wheelsforwellness.org. That's our webpage. And they can learn about Wheels for Wellness. They can get a volunteer application. They can get a patient application. They could get tickets for our event. We're also on Facebook. So you can look us up on Facebook and you can email me. I'd be happy to bring you tickets or mail you tickets at and A-N-N-C, as in cat, Lamana, L-A-M-A-N-N-A at gmail.com. We would love to have people come. We had our biggest turnout last year at 175. So we would love to break that record too. I seem to recall Tracy did the show with me before that event last year. And then I ran into her afterwards and she was gushing about how well that event went, how much fun everybody had, and that it really was a successful time for all of you. It really was. We were so pleased when, and we weren't totally prepared because we didn't have enough programs to go around <laughs> because we had never had 175 people before. We will be prepared this year. We were hoping to get that many or more. And we certainly appreciated your help in getting the word out. Tootie, it's really cool what Rotary does in making Wheels for Wellness a beneficiary because this could have a huge impact, not just on their organization, but then that trickles down to all of the people in our community that need something that may not know where to go to get it. Now they can get it all in one spot. Yeah, definitely. And that the neat thing, I think, is the fact that this event is so much fun, an international affair. It's an elegant evening. It's not black tie, but by the same token, it's really a nice evening out. Our volunteers go all out decorating and everything. And it's just a nice way to spend an evening with family, with friends, enjoying wines from around the world and food from our wonderful restaurants. But at the same time, you're making a huge difference to a group of people that meet a need in our community. And like I said, Rotary's motto is service above self. So in this instance, I think we're having too much fun for ourselves, but at the same time, we're doing a little service above it. Hey, it fits in with the five-way test. Yes, it does. It does. It's <laughs> fair to all concerned, let me tell you. Yes. And the fifth thing, which is, will it be fun? <laughs> yes, that's right. And it'll be beneficial to all yes. concerned. So we hit all those targets. Yeah, there, with, it's all with there. this event. Yes. My, my old rotary days are coming back to me. I'm remembering <laughs> the big words from the five-way test. Uh -huh. That's right. So where can people go get more details about the event? Do you guys have it up on Facebook? It's on Facebook. It's also on our Rotary website, winchesterrotary.org. And there you can get details. And of course, then if you want more, you can go to Eventbrite. You'll see an actual invitation and a picture up there if you want to purchase tickets there. And then, of course, any Rotarian that you know can give you the details. But it's March 30th from 6 to 10 p.m., at the Fox Meadow Barn on Old Firehouse Road, off Route 50 in Winchester, 
Well, it's going to be a fun evening. A lot of wonderful restaurants and good wines, some spirits, some fun silent auction stuff, some beautiful stuff, and a, hopefully a beautiful evening. We've never not had a pretty night to well, do. Thank this. you, Tootie, for reaching out so that we could talk about this today. I appreciate it. I appreciate your willingness to let us talk about it. <laughs> I know people will enjoy it, but the fact that it, the cause is so near and dear to my heart, but also the fact that when you think about the number of people that you can impact with your one ticket, you're, you're making a big difference. And we have a charitable foundation. So your contribution, parts of your contribution can be tax deductible. I don't know accounting, but I know you can talk to your accountant because it is going to the Winchester Rotary Charitable Foundation. Make a difference to yourself, to other people, but have a good time doing it. <laughs> Annie, thank you for meeting up with us on the screen today and telling us about Wheel for Wheels for Wellness as well. Thank you. Thanks for having me. I always love to get the word out and I think people will have fun at the Rotary event and they'll also have fun at table stakes. So if you can't go to one, go to the other. And if you can go to both, come to both. It's even it. better. It's a great way to kick off the spring. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow. It is Tourism Tuesday, and I headed over to Armstrong Irish Dance Academy last week to chat with Sarah Armstrong Rhodes. They're in a brand new location. They have moved from their smaller spot behind the Dairy Queen on Valley Avenue over to the former, and Tootie will remember this, Shenandoah Pride Building. They oh, are wow. now on East Gerard Street with their new yeah. studio. It is fantastic. So meet me back here for that conversation with Sarah tomorrow a few minutes after noon.